Yeah. Mondays with the Mako, another special edition here. So thrilled to have Janet and Eric Sparrow here. Um, they're, they're training with Elite Form. They're some of our top, top customers. Uh, we do an Elite Form training in a mastermind to take our customers to another level. And these guys are leveling up for sure. Uh, I met Eric um, when I was doing sales through Greg Jenkins, a good friend of us both, uh, good mutual friend, excuse me. And Greg introduced me to Eric and said, JR, take care of my guy. He's got some sales stuff he wants to work on with you. And right at that moment, um, I knew Eric was, was the man just because he wanted to work on sales stuff. Um, and then he was from Iowa and I've got that Big Ten Midwest connection thing going on and I really wanted to dig in. And then once we dug in, um, phenomenal working with him. We helped a couple community members in his area with Infusionsoft and I certainly dug in with their account and provided some guidance and maybe a little bit of value there and a friendship quickly emerged. And then his beautiful wife, Janet, got involved with the business. I'm gonna let them talk a little bit more about Milk House Candles, the best soy candle in all of the world. Eric, thank you. Janet, thank you. Great to be here, Jeremiah, the shark. Awesome, brother. <laughs> Tell us about how you guys started Milk House Candles. How did all that emerge? Janet, you want me to take that? You want to take it? I'll do it. She's pretty good with that. <laughs> awesome, Janet. <laughs> Eric asked me on a date if I wanted to make candles. So I was a little <laughs> nervous at first about that, but then in the end, it really worked out well for us. We made candles for our wedding, and what was a hobby turned into a business. Eric left his third grade teaching career, and uh, Several years later, I left my occupation career. When did you leave that? How long has it been now? Two years? Two years. Yeah. Awesome. So you left your full time job, you guys, to come and work with the and family business. It was all elite form, but then you did It really was. It all came down to the lessons we learned at, at Elite Forum here at Infusionsoft and really getting really clear on specifically our core values. But the mission of the company, where are we headed, what direction, what's the five, ten year plan? Uh, and then Janet came on board and we, we discussed and figured out and got real clear on our core values. And from that point, we've just been, uh, we've been, we've been soaring. Crazy. Yeah, it's been wonderful. It's been when you find your why and your purpose, everybody goes another level. We talked about that in group one. Jenkins joined us for group two. This is group three. Um, wow, purpose and why, I love it. What's going on with Osage, Iowa, the small little cool town? Tell us a little bit about the community. Great stuff, actually. We have a wonderful, wonderful, uh, Chamber, a wonderful economic development person, and awesome. they're uh, redoing Main Street, and just great things are happening in the small of the state of Iowa. Eric, you guys purchased a, a bigger facility recently. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? We did. We actually just, re and again, we got to give credit to Infusionsoft and that elite forum. Well, once we got clear on where we wanted to go, we set goals that we never thought we could get. And we got home and recognized that 40 miles away from us, was an opportunity to purchase the largest soy candle manufacturing facility in the world. Yeah. And by God, we did it. We did so it. Good. Wow, you guys. Tell us a little bit about uh, the soy candle and the production, the quality candle, very healthy. Yeah, going back to our roots, I mean, why do we even, why do we, how do we end up in the candle making business? It was a hobby. Yeah. Initially, just making candles. But what we recognized was that most candles in the world are made of paraffin wax, which is a byproduct of crude oil production that releases the same carcinogens yeah. when you burn it as diesel fuel exhaust. And here we were in Iowa, surrounded by soybeans. We could make a much better, healthier candle with none of those carcinogens with the soy wax from the soybeans that are produced from right around us. So we got to work. It wasn't an easy process. It's, it's difficult to produce a soy candle. Yep. But we figured out the process. We figured out the product. And we've just been kind of slowly, steadily building it ever since. What's production look like on a monthly basis? How many candles are you guys moving around? Yeah, we don't really measure production and number of candles because candles can vary in size from one and a half ounces up to 26 ounces. But uh, we kind of measure it in, in candle pounds or even pounds per hour when we look at productivity. Love it. And we, we spend time, we have two different facilities. One of them is taking a look at you know, candles per, I'm sorry, pounds per hour of production. The other facility is where we are looking at candles per day. And our goal at that facility right now is 10,000 candles per day in our larger of the two facilities. Yeah, incredible. And they get the product, you guys, right there in Iowa. It's a team. Soy is produced in Iowa. You want to talk a little bit about that community and how that's all coming together? Your farmers? Well, yeah, the soy candle, the soy candles obviously come from soybeans that are processed in Iowa fields and other, other Midwest states, the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois. Uh, and processed into soy wax for us that of course we make candles from 
and it's just a way for us to, and then of course we sell our candles worldwide, so yeah. it's just a chance for a small Midwest work ethic to go into work and have one of these candles that we get to expand that soy message worldwide. Beautiful. Janet, what's your role with the business now? Are you doing more human development, cultural work? Yeah, that's been my role primarily. When I came into the business, we kind of recognized more people to uh, uh, kind of take some hats off of there and yeah. just uh, facilitate the business and moving forward in a, in a better way. Love so it. So we created, a, you know, with the vision and all that stuff, it really helps with developing the culture further. And um, yeah, so that's primarily what I'm doing hiring, firing. I have a title of these people like someone in it. I get a lot of great <laughs> <laughs> Right on, Janet. Um, Eric, big three, brother. I'm gonna give you guys mine in a second. What are we working on? Or maybe a big one. We were talking a little bit about yeah, something. Yeah, this is interesting, Jeremiah. This is kind of fun kind of whispering all of this in your ear like this, but hey, this is, this is how we roll. <laughs> intimate, Arizona, intimate level right here. What's the, what happens in Arizona <laughs> stays in Arizona, except for this. My days with the Mako, baby. Um, <laughs> So yeah, what we recognize is, of course, we get crystal clear on our where we're going with the company, and we set these big three goals, and uh, even our quarterly goals. We are actually in a bit of an experiment this quarter, in that instead of having multiple quarterly goals that we're working on, we're focused on one goal, I and mean, it's just a sales yeah. team. So we're taking a look at every individual within the group as they set their big three. Is hey, how are you going to contribute to this one sales goal? And so far it's been great because everyone knows exactly what direction they're going and, and no one has to remember these five goals uh, that are for the company. It's just that one sales goal and how we're contributing to that. That's terrific, Eric. I'm going to give you guys my big three in the content. I'm going to let these guys get back to training. It was terrific to be with you two. We got to pick the strategy back up and, and finish a little bit of this. Um, but Eric, Janet, thank you for connecting with me, for supporting me. You guys have been great supporters and team members. And um, if if I get a little uh, little reach out to you guys personally with some of the traffic from this, can we get a little soy soy candle coupon for some of these guys? Oh my goodness! Buy? Yeah, we're here to spread the soy message. Let's work yeah. together to get it done. Spreading the soy message, one candle at a time. Milk house, the best. Much love, guys. Money's with the Mako. Cheers. <laughs>